<clears throat> I promise I was gonna use these tips today for you guys. Actually great tips, so why not? <clears throat> you don't always have to use clear stiletto tips unless you really need them. I really only use them ever when I'm doing like long nails. I don't see the point of using straight tips on short nails and have to cut them down. It makes no sense to me. <clears throat> I love natural tips. I actually been waiting for, there's a lot of actually, a lot of people have been waiting for these to come back in the stock. It's because I changed the way they look a little bit. That's why it took a little bit longer to produce. But um, it's worth it though. Very worth it. I have a little powder missing up here, so. I should just file them in a little bit to make them a little more coffin this this one because it's gonna be a little, this is a little longer than the last set we did. One, two, three. Let it marble. Place the bead. I'm not gonna move this bead until it's ready. has natural apex already so we don't have to do a lot of work here make sure I shape my nail the structure should be already be there see that um, this these tips have a, a slight curve to them so you'll be able to create the same structure just like that <clears throat> hello Three. You don't need to have that much powder. Anything under a medium, medium long, you don't need that much powder. You don't need, you don't need to build apex either. Unless you do your application proper. <clears throat> you don't need a big apex. Hey, thank you. One, two, three. Yeah, I got a pack for Atlanta tonight. I'm, I always forget something. <sighs> Always forget something.
just like that. Nice smooth application. Use my brush, smooth everything out. Really no work later, to be honest. <clears throat> This is gonna be a running bead. I can already tell. It's okay, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit. like that there you go one hand done well less than mm, less than 10 15 minutes per hand there ideally you want to do your application in 30 minutes that's like the, the sweet the sweet timing <clears throat> and any set once you get your technique down the ratio down um, any all applications should be around 30 minutes of time to applicate um, some more and others based on the length, but generally around the same time. You shouldn't be spending more than an hour doing an application. And you guys are all reached that point once you start understanding and getting your technique down. It's easier than you think. So you're not ready yet. You need to have more, a little more time under your belt with the application. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I was never be able to do sub 30 minutes when I first started. Neither should you. It's gonna be way too dry. Let's see, one, two, three, let that bead marble. That lets me know I'm ready to put the bead down and start doing my application. It's important to move the bead when it's ready. A lot of times you guys kind of want to rush it because you see that it's, still, it's wet. Just because it's running does not mean you have to just drag it through the bead. You can actually control it, leave it where it needs to be and move it when you need to move it, okay? You want to move it when it's almost like drying up because then that means that it's gonna consistently go through the nail one thickness. When it's wet, it's just gonna drag through and it's gonna either be thick, thin, in certain areas, because you don't have a lot of control. You gotta utilize the whole brush. I'm using the whole brush to brush through. <clears throat> I'm molding at the top of that, actually, to make it nice and smooth. And this is when I'm able to do my shaping. Huh? <clears throat> Thank you, Brittany. Beginner, I recommend a 12 or a 10 for my line. I do crimp all my brushes. I think a 10 and a 12 is a good good size for a beginner. I don't think anything looks smaller than a 10 though. An eight is just too small to be honest in my book, in my opinion. Because a 10 will give you the ability to pick up a nice bead still, but work with smaller beads so you have smaller ratios. Get a little bit more understanding of the potter before you start getting these bigger brushes and picking up bigger beads and you know, potentially not be able to control them and making them thick nails. Instead of using the whole brush to brush through, it gives me a transition to the whole nail, the same thickness. You're not, you're not stabbing, jabbing, small spots in the nail, okay? When it's like at an al dente phase where you can actually go through, because it's the thumb. This bead is drier than the last one, so I'm gonna put it on early so I can move it earlier. Work faster. Understanding when your bead is dry or wet is very important. Then you know how fast, how much time you have. You work faster, quicker. And 
there we go. That should have been about maybe 25 minutes. I'm at what, 25 minute marks? If I time myself correctly, I should be at the 25 minute mark of my application, right? Anybody got the time on this? 25 minutes, 28, 26? Applications finish, and I'll clean my brush. Make sure I feather through. Make sure that see how it's sticky. There's acrylic here, so I'm gonna break this open and get more monomer. Brush maintenance, guys, important. See now it feathers through. When it's sticky, it means that there's acrylic there sticking the brushes together. So you just gotta. It's not gonna be hard because the brush itself has already been in monomer the whole time. 13 minutes? Oh, wow, okay. A little bit faster than my 25 minute mark, but whatever, 13 minutes it is. So now let's go through and shape. Like I said, I shape with my application. Now I'm just gonna go through and finesse this, make it nice and crisp. It's a nice coffin. It's only been 13 minutes since the video started? Jeez. <laughs> this color, um, I actually mixed it myself because I ran out of a lot of nudes. So now you have the shape. Boom. There you go. Nice and coffin. Because the application did the job for me. I need your 100 out of your files. These files last a long time. I'm so, I'm sorry. I, I don't throw them out after every client. I mean, if it gets worn out, yes, but I, I barely file. So I, you know, I have a big drawer of them. I just have my receptionist throw them in like the... um. My receptionist actually does a lot of work for me. She throws them in this bucket of where we, we sanitize all the tools and stuff like that. And then she just takes it out and leaves it out outside uh, on, on the table so it dries. And I come in to work and I'll have them. Nice set, ready. I only can do that like once or twice because eventually the uh, the glue gets broken down from the filer. As you can see, my shaping definitely very quick. Maybe a good 10, 15 minutes per hand. Not gonna try to do it too much here because I don't want to over file and ruin my shape. Uh, it's like a medium coffin, almost like a taper coffin. Not gonna go in too much. Just like that. Ah, you know what it is? I'm, because I use, I, I time myself based on me doing two beading, but I did one beading most of these. So that's why it was a little bit faster. It was 13 minutes instead of 20, 25. Because I was just one beading, majority of these nails. That's probably why. It's 14 minutes now since you started. I'm, wow, I feel like that's very fast. Hmm, oh well. I guess I was in my zone. I was just talking about earlier, someone asked me how long it takes me to complete a set, and I said under 30 minutes. They're like, really, how's that possible? A set with no designs, just like this. So pretty much if I did cuticle work, I would be finished with a set under 20 minutes. And for a lot of you guys starting out right now, sets like this, knock them out under 30, 20, 20 minutes, you make good money, man. You don't need to go after those designs. Just a nice, solid color. Good shaping, good foundation. Bank. Sometimes I haven't done like a, like a simple set with no designs in so long. Once in a while I do one for my regulars where they just want to do a nice simple set. I finish and then just like a nice top coat and I'm like, wow. Because I have more time to focus on the foundation and, and everything like that. So it's so crisp. These are my natural, natural tips. has slight curves, very aesthetically pleasing, guys. 
If you are use, if you're doing medium to long sets like this, medium long, I consider this medium long. Um, use the natural tips. I guarantee you, the, the aesthetics, the the foundation will look so much better than using straight tips. Straight tips, you, you have to learn how to build the apex and all that stuff. This one you don't have to because it has a nice curve to it. So make sure you apply very nice and even. Okay, so let's do some cuticle work. <laughs> the tip and the prep um the tip and the prep probably takes me five minutes not that long are you guys i did a, i had to leave the live and buy <laughs> welcome back um honestly when it comes to prepping uh, i just did a i just showed you guys how to apply tips earlier it take, takes me less than five to ten minutes to be honest with you um prepping is very easy for me just a nice sandy band get the get the um what should we call it? The nail rough and then apply tips and primer. I don't know nothing special with the prepping process. A lot of guys are spending 20 minutes on prepping. I don't know how. Yeah, you see how you, your body just change? Yeah, just relax. Trust me. This is very sharp. <laughs> nice thing I do is cut you, okay? One thing about this is this is my sharp bit, okay? If you're not used to using a sharp bit yet, go ahead and get yourself a safety bit. I have it in the same model, same style, the safety version. You'll still be able to do good cuticle work, just not as good as the sharp one, okay? And these are unique drill bits. You won't find these bits anywhere. I had them make custom. I love having my stuff make custom. I don't like people having the same bits as me, same style. There you guys go. Look at that shape. Look how crispy this is. You could cry. He said 20 minutes then. Marisol, you finished your packing yet for class, Marisol? Just something satisfying. <clears throat> what do you want the safety bet? You can go to my nail-shop.com right there in the pin link below. And it should be the fine safety or you want it the medium. You can do a medium safety also. Um, it's exactly the same as this, except it's, uh, the edges right here are a little bit more rounded. And you'll be able to, won't, won't, you won't have a less chance of cutting the client. But it's not too rounded out either. So it gives you a nice ability to work around the cuticle area. Um, but when you're ready for that, this sharp one that I'm using right now, you're able to get really nice in this cuticle area, really nice and crisp. 
precise and then uh, you won't have any lifts, I guarantee you. Minor lifts anyways, you won't have any pop-offs, something like that. I think using the bowhead sanding band apply tips, I messed it up, but I think that worked. <clears throat> just order some, just remember my name and throw in extra packs. <laughs> I can't with you, Crystal. I just can't. <laughs> were, you in the, were you in the New York or were you in the Houston class? I can't remember, Crystal. I think it was New York, wasn't it? Or is it Houston? I can't remember which class you were in. I have so many students now, like nationwide. I can't remember which one you guys are in. These guys, you guys gotta start reminding me. Some of you guys go through every class too, so. Oop. Sorry. Need to increase that speed a little bit. Sometimes when you go too slow, you'll get caught like that. Chef's dirty hands. Like that. There you guys go. Houston, I knew that. A bunch of troublemakers in Houston, I swear. Honestly, Houston class, you guys, are, you guys are doing so well. It's crazy. A lot of you guys just really waiting for that master class. I'm so proud of you guys sometimes. Sometimes my students, I, I ask them for a photo dump and they put all the photos up in the group chat. Woo! Like, look at them go. Remember, it's the same technique over and over, okay? So just make sure that you guys move the client's hands where you need to go. It's important when you're doing gig work to do that. Sometimes the client's very stiff or they're not paying attention or they're you tell them to relax. Because you have a sharp tool to have sensitive cuticles. Yes, you make mistake here and there. You might nick the client. That's not the end of the world. It's called making a mistake. It's called an accident. Don't, don't go depressed. Go in full depression mode over it. Make sure you sanitize the tools, sanitize the client's hands, and move on. You know, you know where not to drill too much. I'm saying. Always positioning myself where I'm comfortable. Because you're the one with the tool, so you need to be as comfortable as possible. If the client has to move their hand in an awkward position for a few seconds, that's not the end of the world for them, okay? But for you, as someone that's using a sharp tool, when I'm as motorized, you being comfortable is very important. Remind them that. It's supposed to be the thing in the group chat the other day, my armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. You know, I have so many group chats for students. I can't, sometimes I don't even look at the, the, where it's from. I just look at it. We're probably going to come back to Houston. Or at the West Coast, to be honest with you. Because we had such a good time in Houston. I mean, such a big fan base there. A lot of students waiting for us there.
Make sure you get that nice, beautiful work. The more flush, the better. Yes, yeah, so you won't have any lifts, minor lifts, minimal lifts. Wait, LaDante, you're in the group chat too? Wait, LaDante, you're in the Houston class too? Such a bad dad. I don't remember all you guys' name. Where are you guys? <laughs> Got kids everywhere. Are fine. This is a no. This is a fine. The red is a fine. The blue is the medium. I actually like the blue too. The medium is nice too. Um, it's just it's not that big of a difference in the grip, but it, it breaks down a little bit more acrylic. I dare say a little bit sharper even. finish we're gonna do some swirl lines and hearts and all that say that on 35 minutes for this set before design so if I were to just do a nice top coat no designs it'll be about less than 40 minutes for the set so a good average next month but we'll be all west coast next month june we'll be in denver and then july we'll be in vegas and then oof. there you guys go wash your hands shades of pink swirly lines so we gotta mix it instead of finding three shades of pink I'm just gonna pick white and one one dark pink and I'll make three shades of pink okay show you guys how to do that right now this also works with browns if you have to do with browns for summer clean this palette I need to make three shades of pink so this pink. That's my base pink. Four shades actually. One more shade. One more shade. One more shade. Mm -hmm.
few more away here. So for a lot of you guys that don't want to have to go find three shades of pink, you can just choose one dark pink and just mix them and make your own three shades. A little bit of a life hack here for you guys. <laughs> From me. So I want this one a little bit lighter. This should be enough right here. I want it noticeably lighter than that one, but not gonna be too too big of a light. Is that three shades of pink? Original kind of reddish pink, pink, medium pink. This one's too close to that one, so I'm gonna make this one a lot lighter. So I need a lot more white. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right. A lot of you guys are probably like, I'm doing that shit. Screw trying to match all these shades. There you go. It's a nice light white. See, notice but the white now. All right. You can take that picture out. I need to see the picture. Is that a picture? The picture? The design? Oh, yeah. You want the heart thing too? Yeah, please. Of course you do. <laughs> Of course you do. Twelve percent. Mm -hmm. Hindsight, I should just done these in here as I go. I just want to test the colors out. Got the picture? Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is not gonna work. Where's your friend? Um, she went out to the car. Oh no, let me see if I can pull up Instagram real quick. 
and let me see if I can get that from there. Cause your phone keeps, your phone is dying. Yeah. Let's see if she got the. There it is. Perfect. Good to go through these and do the first coat first. I was just testing out earlier, but uh, my recommendation is do the first coat first so that you guys can cure and not have any issues with the colors blending in together. So do like wherever the first squig line is. That's why you want to get your set quicker because then you have more time to do this. These designs. Thumb is, I'm just gonna do the thumb just very simple like this. Okay, go ahead, Kier. make these colors nope make some white and clear in
Okay. Let's go through our second color. Let's the pinky. These are darker from the inside. Darker to the inside. A little bit easier as you're curious, see? So you don't, even if you go over that pink, it's not gonna blend in together. So I'm just gonna go through. Doing this design, you have to do it in layers because you notice if you don't do it in layers, all the colors are going to blend in together. It's not going to be. I forgot this one has to have this. I'm gonna leave her like that, huh? Huh? You left her. I needed to go eat Where are you guys coming down from? North Carolina. Hmm. Where are you guys like more North Carolina or South Carolina? Um, I'm from South Carolina. Personally, I like it more because it's warmer. This is process tedious, guys. It's like, who the heck wants designs like this? That's why we gotta make sure our sets are done so much quicker so that we can have more time to do these designs. 
this is one of those designs that if you're gonna do, you cannot rush it. When you rush this design, it's a wrap. It ain't gonna come out the way you want it, I guarantee you. Take your time, do it right, follow the steps. Trust me, it gets easier and easier once the design starts coming into fruition. It may seem like a lot of work, but at the end of the day, it's not really that much work. Do this with green. Like that. I'm gonna fix that before I finish off. See? up to me I would use gel art paint but I don't have gel art paint in these colors so
Ooh. Look at your birthday today. And we're gonna do more work. <laughs> Do you have like a milky white acrylic powder? We just ran out of that actually. I've been trying to get that color for years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some finishing touches. We done. And that's it. Nice top coat. Yeah, the squirrel designs now, they're so popular, it's so annoying to do. So annoying. I'm gonna give this heart more definition here. Okay, switch. You don't want Matt, right? Too bad, Matt. Where's that? Okay. Oh, sorry. Put the hand in one time. So before I mat this, I before I top this, I'm gonna clean up a little bit because we didn't use gel polish. See how it gets into that corner, right there a little bit. I'm just gonna go through and just gonna. Get rid of that bulk. Nice. Do this now before you top coat. Don't do it after your top coat. Okay. If you have any polish that you want to clean up on the corners, just go through and clean it because you don't want to do this afterwards. Any any gel polish that gets out of the cuticle area, especially here. See that it's dripped down there. Just gonna drill it out. Don't top coat, then do this. Top coat, do this. You're gonna break the seal on the top coat. Yeah, Ooh, I've got one finger. Now you top coat. I'm gonna mat this first, see what it looks like matted. I love this design matted. It took me longer to do the design than it did to do the set. Isn't that funny, guys? Can I 
know sometimes pet trucks need help. Switch. Let's see what this looks like matted. I love this design matted. Any squirrels? Take it out. So cool that looks matted. She wants it shiny, so. I actually like it matte. Can we look at that? <laughs> Plater. Here one more time, okay? Yeah, this design is made for matte, not shiny. Because it gives it a nice texture. And yeah, we're done. Yikes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that one's really nice. So, what was this? Cuticle oil. Strange, the, the inspo she pic, picture she gave me is that someone kind of came up with themselves, but you know. Ideally, this design, you ever do swirls, matte is the way to go. Some works well with shiny, but the matte really brings out the, the swirl effect. Gives it that matte look. There we go. So, yeah. Takes time. A little bit messy, but three pinks do you use I only use one pink and I mix these the other three pink for it 